Hi, Vicki Vidalia here. I am with Sean Vidalia. Hello, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Um, this is something we make and have made for years. We've been married Every for, year. how many years have we been married? 30, almost 33. 33 years we've been married. We've been together for how long? Almost 37. He's our math guy. No, 39. <laughs> 39 years we've been together. Probably. And I think we've made this for 39 years. Uh, probably. Since day one. I've been with Sean since I was 15, but please don't do the math. I don't want you to know how old I am. <laughs> anyway, um, all, all of this is from Aldi. As you know, I am a big fan of Aldi. And I have Sean helping me because we do this every year together. Actually, a lot of times he'll sit and watch football and just make batch after batch after batch after batch after batch, 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 batch. Of Chex Mix. Of Chex Mix. And then we give it to our friends for the holidays and to the people in our building. Like we have doormen. We have, anyway, we give it to everybody, the people at Orange Theory. Um, so it's great. And we're going to start. Yep. And it's so We've fun. actually <laughs> already started. So you want to take a, um, basically, a whole stick of butter and you want to melt it at 250. You got to make sure you don't burn it, but you want to melt it down completely uh, at 250. And then really the secret ingredients to our Chex Mix, we do a little bit of onion salt. So you melt the butter, you're doing a little sprinkle of onion salt across the top of it. And then one of the things I love is Worcestershire. Worcestershire. This is obviously a big ingredient. I don't think people use enough Worcestershire when they're actually making this. So I'm doing probably about three tablespoons and I'm not really measuring it because what I do is I kind of look and just gauge where it's at. And the Worcestershire is really inexpensive at all day, just saying. And, and this uh, generic rice and corn checks is just as good as um, the name brand. And we don't use the wheat because I can't stand the wheat checks. Plus, no, then this makes checks. it, I know they always pick it out, right? Yep. Plus this makes it gluten-free. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. So we're gonna do a special batch because we've been making so much of this. Normally you'd put in about a, a little under a tablespoon, maybe two, three teaspoons of seasoned salt. But Yum. we're going to actually use barbecue, barbecue seasoning. Rub. And it's a Is nice it seasoning. seasoning yeah, it's from Kinder's. This is a seasoning, not a rub. Okay. And we're gonna spread it over. Okay, what we have pre-poured in here is six cups, actually probably almost eight cups. Uh, four cups of rice checks, four cups of corn checks. I like to coat those first. Yum, yum, and then yum. Vicky's gonna get about a cup of pretzel sticks. Okay, so if you're not gluten-free, this is the Aldi brand. Um, if you're gluten-free, these are cassava. I have actually never tried this it's brand new at Aldi. Um, the cassava flour, which is um, a root. So this will be um, definitely if you want gluten-free. So we're gonna do one batch of each, but just to show you, we're gonna use the pretzels. And that's so, really the only thing you have to swap out because the corn checks and rice checks are already gluten-free. Exactly, so I'm just gonna do, that's to me is probably a cup. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Can you do the same fistful of <laughs> Yeah, I don't really see the point of measuring that out. I mean, you didn't measure out your stuff. I know. Now, Just if you have a peanut allergy, don't use the peanuts. <laughs> really, but you could still eat this without the peanuts. Don't or have peanuts. a couple EpiPens hanging around. No, we don't want to do Christmas that. tree. Okay, this is really hard. Okay, yeah. Now I need to my teeth. <laughs> yes, I drive them crazy. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Right? Oh, it's fun though, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna do, since I'm only gonna do half of one handful, we're gonna do two of these. One. And, does that seem like enough? Yep, seems like enough. So Perfect. now I've kind of coated everything. You can kind of tell when it's nice and coated, all the butter. We're gonna pop it in the oven, and then we're gonna take it out every 15 minutes and stir it. Ooh, that's the secret. And we're gonna put it, we're gonna go about four times. So it cooks for almost a full hour, sometimes a little bit more. And then you take it out. And then that's it. See you in 15 minutes, and then another 15 minutes, and then another 15 minutes, oh and then God. it's done. Yay! Okay, see you soon. Okay, the 15 minute timer went off, so I'm going to take it out of the oven. And it's really important to catch it every 15 minutes if you can. Okay, this timer's going off. So this is the second 15 minute timer. Voila. 
Hi, welcome back. Sean's back and we're going to uh, check on the Chex Mix. It should be done. All right. Oh my gosh, that looks so perfect. Mmm, smells good too. It's got that little touch of barbecue to it. Whoa, look at that. That's incredible. Stir it up a little bit. Here. Mm. Oh yeah. It's good. It's a holiday tradition. Actually, I don't know why we don't make this more during the, during the year. But I have our holiday tradition though. November and December, really we good. crank out a lot of batches of this. Really it's good. a keeper. So I like the barbecue. And then uh -huh. the next one we're going to do is a seasoned salt. Yep. And just go back and forth. This is really good. It's good. Nice job. And that's it. That's that it. easy. That easy. It's so good. Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. And now we gotta package all this up and give it away. <laughs> okay, eat it all. Yeah, and eat it. <laughs> Yum.